Why were the Duke and Duchess of Sussex uninvited to a state reception? And what does the future hold for the two brothers? Keep watching to find out. The death of Queen Elizabeth is reuniting the royal family in some pretty significant ways. Not only have King Charles III, Princess Anne, and Princess Edward welcomed their brother, Prince Andrew, into the front line again, but other family members are also stepping up. Prince Harry, Duke of Sussex, hurried to his grandmother's side after doctors expressed their concern for her. On top of that, he and his wife Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, would reunite with William, Prince of Wales, and Catherine, Princess of Wales, later on. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex supported each other and openly showed their affection during their grief for the late monarch. Queen Elizabeth, who was the United Kingdom's longest reigning monarch, will be buried on Monday, September 19th, and preparations for her funeral are underway. However, the Brits have celebrated her 70-year reign during a number of public events since her death on September 8th. One of the biggest tributes to the former queen will be at the state reception. Per the Daily Mail, King Charles and Queen Camilla will host the event that foreign royals and world leaders will attend. However, there also appears to be a small change in the guest list. Apparently, Harry and Meghan can no longer attend the event. But why? The Daily Mail reports that Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may no longer attend a state reception for foreign royals, official overseas guests, and world leaders on September 18th. King Charles III and Queen Camilla will welcome the important guests at the Buckingham Palace reception. Per People, approximately 2,000 people will attend the Westminster Abbey event. However, the king's son and daughter-in-law may have been uninvited to the reception. According to the Daily Mail, Harry and Meghan were apparently invited to palace reception earlier this week. However, it seems as if the invitation was sent in error. The outlet reports that Buckingham Palace officials have confirmed that only working royals may attend the event, and for those who haven't been following the antics of the British royal family lately, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex are definitely no longer working members of the royal family. To recall, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, Duke and Duchess of Sussex, were no longer deemed working royals by Buckingham Palace back in February 2021. The palace said in a statement, In stepping away from the work of the royal family, it is not possible to continue with the responsibilities and duties that come with a life of public service. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle quit the royal family in early 2020. They confirmed that they were no longer senior working members of the royal family in 2021, per AP News. With that said, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex could no longer use the title Royal Highness and were cut off from receiving public funding. Harry was stripped of various roles such as his position as the Captain General of the Royal Marines, but was still sixth in line to the throne. However, with the death of his Queen Elizabeth, the Invictus founder has moved up one place in the pecking order. It appears as if Harry is now on equal footing as his other royal cousins who are not official working royals. The children of Princess Anne, Prince Andrew, and Prince Edward are also not senior members of the royal family and are also unlikely to attend the event. Instead, Queen Elizabeth's eight grandchildren stood vigil around the former monarch's coffin on the evening of September 17th. Prince Harry joined his brother William, Prince of Wales, and cousins Zara Tyndall, Peter Phillips, Princess Beatrice, Princess Eugenie, Lady Louise Windsor, and James, Viscount Severin, at the Westminster Abbey. The cousins paid their respects to the beloved former monarch. While Prince Harry and Meghan Markle may not be able to attend the Buckingham Palace state reception, some royal family members may have gone out of their way for the couple in the wake of Queen Elizabeth's death. Even though there was a disputed rift between King Charles III and his youngest son, the king made some concessions toward the Duke of Sussex. Per the Daily Mail, Confusion about the invitation to join the world leaders at the state reception on September 18th follows King Charles' request for his son to wear his military regalia at the 15-minute vigil at Queen Elizabeth's coffin. Previously, The Guardian reported that only working royal members with the military rank were allowed to wear their uniforms. However, King Charles intervened to let Harry stand vigil wearing his military uniform. The king's actions may very well help their father and son relationship. William, Prince of Wales, also extended the hand of friendship to his brother during the week before their grandmother's funeral. He asked Prince Harry and Meghan Markle to join him and Catherine, Princess of Wales, on a walkabout near Windsor Castle. The Fab Four reunited as they paid homage to Queen Elizabeth by meeting crowds of people who had gathered in the wake of her death. And after all the family drama within the last two years, it seems old grudges are being put to rest. For now.